What is going to be today? We are back with our massive box of horror action figures that we do every single year. It is time. It is that annual time of year. We fill up the box with all of our horror action figures in our collection. We have some new additions and things like that, and we go through the entire box. Kind of a celebration of Halloween and just all things Halloween and spooky this time of season. But it's the month of October, so it's time, man. Horror action figure setups are going to start, all that different stuff, man. But today we do have this massive box of horror action figures, and we're going to dive into it together. We're going to go one by one through each figure, showcase it. I'll probably add a little background to it, and then we'll move on to the next one and we'll go all the way through until the box is empty so happy halloween everybody hang out chill out let's go through this box together and figure out what we got going on so i guess we can start things off with this part seven jason which is probably my favorite figure in the entire box if not the entire box i don't know exactly but i have quite a few in here because i love this figure so much i love the zombified version of jason it took forever for NECA to actually release this but i do enjoy it so much the zombified jason it's got the chain and the rips and all the details of the skin rotting away a very cool figure i bet we see like three or four of these in the this box. It's that good. Next up, you know what? Let's get into another one. Let's get into another one. We have another one right here, but the mask is on and he's holding a hatchet or an axe. It just looks so good, man. This is the best version of Jason Voorhees, and I think Kane Hodder is the best portrayal of Jason Voorhees. I just love it. The spine exposed. Just a ridiculous figure, man. I love this so much. Next up, we have Pennywise. We have It the Clown or Pennywise the Clown here from 2017, the remake. We have a few of these. The hands you're going to notice are kind of busted up and stuff like that, but it's a good looking figure. I like this figure. Got some good gray tones in there, lots of detail. You can always expect a lot of details out of NECA figures, but I always appreciated this figure. Even if it doesn't stand the best, they, they've re-released this figure also like 152 times, but I enjoy it. Next up, we have a corner piece. We have a leather face here, and I want to say we've owned this figure quite a few times before, but this is one of our versions here. It's got the apron in there with the blood spatter. Got the chainsaw in there. Very nice figure. Next up, we have the original Pennywise. We have the original Pennywise here. Great looking piece. His head pops off a lot for whatever reason. This collar's pretty thick, so his head pops off, but I do like this Pennywise. I honestly prefer the OG Pennywise over the remake. Even if the remake, you know, it's got a lot of CGI going on and stuff, but I always prefer the Curry version. I, I don't know. I just like this a lot. We also have, I think this is Halloween Ends, if I'm not mistaken, Michael Myers, one of the newer additions to the box. He's got the charred face and mask going on, and I hated that film so much. I know you're either on one end of the spectrum or the other. You either hated the film or loved it. I despised it. I thought it was, there were so many jokes in there that I just couldn't get over, and maybe I can expound on that one day, but yeah, it was, uh, didn't like it, man. Didn't like it, but the figure's cool, and it did, you know, Michael looks super bad a and very villainous when he has his charcoal face going on I, I like this figure a lot but jesus that film was dreadful to me next up is another classic we have Ghostface from scream here another great figure by neck i think they really did a great job making this figure how they i don't know how they executed it how they have the mask kind of in a hood and then you put the cloth hood over that existing hood or that head sculpt i just think they did a really good job on there very fancy schmancy you got the overthrow right there very good figure overall even if the he's kind of hard to stand up but i like it we also have a pinhead from Hellraiser. And this is another one of those really detailed figures. Great job on the nails and the face and everything like that. Got some blood splattering and stuff going on. Some of these figures are damaged from our different horror action figure series over the years, but it's still a classic. We also have the Bride of Frankenstein right here, who usually has like an overthrow on, but I don't know what happened to it, but her hair looks nice. Kind of, you know, a Marge Simpson vibe going on. My grandmother, my great-grandmother also used to have hair similar to this. And as we know, she was made in the lab as well. So this is a very nice figure indeed. And it poses around pretty well too. Actually, underrated piece in this box. Next up, we have Friday the 13th Part 2 Jason, and got the bag on the head right there with the one eye hole. Kind of an underrated version. He's got the pickaxe in there. I really like the plaid covering in here in the blue. It's just a nice looking figure. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the details. Just, uh, I don't know, man. NECA really does it. The only thing that really hinders NECA figures nowadays is kind of the articulation. They're a bit stiff and stuff, but really like this figure. Always thought that it was a different take. You know, before he donned the mask. Next up, we have a Chucky. We have Charles right here with the charred face. Half of his face is blown off right there. Good details in here. This guy really falls apart easy for me. Maybe it's just my version or something, but his hands fall off and stuff. It's still a really good figure, and the details are always just so good with these NECA figures, but I don't know. Again, the handling of some of them makes me want to pull my hair out, but I like this figure too. It's just a really, it's really, really small, but I think the details are captured as always. We also have one of my favorites, man. We have Captain Spaulding right here from House of a Thousand Corpses. Great looking figure. I really wish that they would do some sort of Devil's Rejects 3-pack or something. But I like Captain Spaulding. You have the hat removable. Rest in peace to the legend. Uh, great colors on here as well. The polka dot pants and everything just look really good. Got the hot dog shirt on. Just a great figure overall, man. And his legs don't move or anything, but I don't care. Just so good. And not to mention, you also have Otis right here. Two of the newer additions to the box. And they just look so damn good. I love these. These are great. I was always a fan of House of a Thousand Corpses and the Devil's Rejects. And I just always appreciated the figures. These are kind of, again, these are newer. But, uh, you know, you have some of those classic figures as well that they gave us back 
back in the day, and I like those as well. But at least we can have the updated versions of the more modern versions here, but they look really, really good. I like both of these figures. Next up, we have some Toonie Terrors. We do have the Exorcist right here with the vomit on her sweater already, Mom Spaghetti. And she also comes with a projectile vomit thing that I think is also in the bottom of the box, so that's cool. We have a few pumpkin heads right here. There's a few pumpkin heads. We have like three different versions right here. I think one of these is from Sam. I think that I can't remember which ones are which. I want to say some of them came with the Sam Ultimate, and then some are just like some of like this one came with the Sam Ultimate. It's like an alternate head sculpt, but pretty cool accessories to add to the box. And as you should know, like NECA is always adding so many different accessories to the box, which makes it really cool. But we do have the Sam Ultimate right here, which is pretty poseable and cool. Nice details and stitching in the bag and everything, which I like. I wish we'd also get some Strangers NECA Ultimates. I think, you know, potato sack head and stuff would be cool to have. Let's have a part six Jason here. One of the cooler, I don't know, I like the, the gardening gloves. Like the yellow gardening gloves got like, kind of tied into the color palette. I don't know. I just like it. Also have the mask removable. Looking like a damn face only a mother could love, but you know, he's looking good. Legs are a bit wobbly, which you'll come to know with NECA figures, but a really cool piece anyway, and we do have like the, the staff or the spear or the, you know, the fence piece kind of broken in half right here. We also have a Jason Part 7 mask, like a really big one. I think this goes on a statue in the bottom of the box, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll find that at the end. We have Freddy Krueger right here. Very nice Freddy. I think this is one of the only Freddies we have. We have like two or three in the box, but this is definitely my favorite one. I think this is the Ultimate Freddy, and he's got the screaming expression and everything like that. Really good execution here. Another one that's difficult to stand, but, you know, we get over it. Yeah, it's kind of, the you know, sacrifice. You gotta make some sacrifices, I guess. We also have Loomis right here with his coat on. He's donning the revolver, looking pretty good, pretty menacing. Good details here as well. I do prefer cloth over rubber, but I think in this case it does work. If you're gonna sculpt on the arms of the jacket, I think it looks good, but we do have Dr. Loomis right here looking pretty menacing, looking off to his left. We also have the Tournament of the Damn Trophy right here, which I don't know if we're gonna be doing any matches this year. I really want to, but this is a fake trophy that I made for an action figure tournament for my horror figures, and we did it one year. We got all the way through the championship, and then we've ran into snags every other time we've tried to do it, but it's just because my schedule's so damn hectic, it's been impossible to kind of finish it, but really cool trophy indeed. A lot of fun to make. You have like the bloody head sculpt, split it through the machete, and then attach it to the top of this trophy. I always thought that was pretty cool, so. Got the MDT Tournament of the Damn trophy. We also have a remake Jason Voorhees right here from 2009. Kind of a different take, you know. I kind of like that movie. That movie's fun to watch, even if it is kind of, you know, goofy at times. I still enjoy it. Fun watch. You got the, you know, the bag over the head or the wrap over the head, which is cool. I think there's a few of this in this box as well. Any figures like this that come with interchangeable heads, we usually get two or three copies, so we have, so we can display the figure with each individual head sculpt. We also have a classic. We have Candyman right here. I think this is also NECA, but it's like cloth version or whatever. I really like this coat. It's a really nice coat. He's got the bees coming out of his mouth right there with the hook hand. I think this was added last year, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really nice figure. He's got the nice slacks on. He'll beat the hell out of you. I really like this figure. Great one. We also have our Crooked Man right here, which is another underrated piece. I remember seeing this on screen and being completely terrified and wanting a figure of it, and I can't really believe that they even made a figure of it. I was actually shocked that they did so, but it's a really cool piece as well. He's very wicked looking too, but uh, something you don't want to see at the end of the hallway, you know what I'm saying? We're continuing on with the Nun, man. The Nun, which I want to say I got this two or three years ago. Just a freaky looking figure, man. Freaky looking figure. My brother used to have that painting from the films. He used to have that painting hanging in his room and it was... Set up in his room to where if you open the bedroom door to, like if you opened his bedroom door, it would be peering down the entire hallway. So you could be standing at the end of the hallway and if you opened his door, it would be on the wall looking back at you. It was terrifying. And uh, what's actually even crazier is the bushes outside of his room outside, they died. It was, it was a very ominous thing. Every other bush in the house was fine. The bushes at his end of the house, outside of his room, completely died. I think about that often. Next up is the John Carver figure, which I can't remember if this is new to the box this year or if this was last year, but I want to say this is new this year. So this is a new addition. We have the John Carver figure here, the Thanksgiving figure, which is pretty cool. I like the mask. I like the top hat and everything. I don't know. Very cool and creative. Uh, the rest of it kind of, you know, from the neck down, it's kind of just Michael Myers, really, but you know what I mean. We also have classic Frankenstein. He does have his shackles on there. This is the great out scale version, which I really like. I honestly prefer the black and white version over the realistic version, I think. Still on the hunt for that one. I could easily order it. I just, you know, I'm kind of one of those guys that likes to buy stuff in person sometimes, so that's why I don't pre-order from stores and stuff. I try to locate it in stores. It's a very tough game sometimes, but, you know, you know, I live with it. We also have our NES Freddy right here, missing his hat for whatever reason. It's kind of a statue, really. It's not really a fa I mean, it is a figure. Don't get me wrong. It's a figure, but it is a statue from the waist down, and, you know, sometimes the figures be that way, and I guess it is a figure. 
it technically is a figure, but I don't know. That's kind of a debate that goes across all wrestling, or not wrestling, but action figure. Action figure communities, because they're like, is it a figure if it's just a statue? It's like a figurine, I guess, but is it an action figure? I don't think so. We also have Mezco right here, man, and I really, I, I'm kind of one of the biggest, I don't even know, I don't want to say hater, but I, I really, I don't like Mezco stuff very often. I don't like Mezco stuff because I think it's highly detailed and stuff, but the scale and then the price that you pay, I just don't get on board with. Like, here's Michael Myers. There's also a Jason Voorhees in here, and we do have a Mezco Leatherface, and they're fine. They're just so damn tiny, and they, the posability isn't there for me that it just bothers the hell out of me. I, I don't know why. I feel like I'm getting scammed, kind of, because the, the price. And I know it's cloth goods, and it's all this premium stuff. I get it, but for me personally, my own wallet, I, it's hard to justify paying for a figure that's so tiny, even if the presentation is nice, and even if the cloth goods are nice. I just am not a fan of them. I don't know. They just feel tiny. They feel like little tiny things that are going to break any time I touch them. I don't know. We also have Michael Myers from Halloween 2 here, and he is set ablaze, so we do have him on fire right here. You can clip that to the thigh, and look, he's on fire. Fire. So that's pretty cool. I like that. He's got the bleeding eyes. He's on fire. He can walk through hell and he's just still coming, man. He's still just still going. That's a pretty cool figure indeed. We also have our part five and my God, man, I was not a fan of this. You know, say what you will, but no, bro. No, you can't waste a whole film thinking that it's Jason Voorhees and then just pull the rug out from under it. This this figure can just get the hell out. I honestly, I, I know what they were going for. It is cool as a standalone film, but nah, can't do it. Can't do it. Next up, we do have another Chucky figure right here, which is nice. And you know what? Let's see. Let's put five. Father, not father, so I almost said, let's put father and son together. Let's put bride and groom together. We do have our bride and groom here, which is very cool. I rewatched this just the other day. Always a fun film, even if it is just the insanity of the early, mid-2000s. I still, you know, the insanity of the horror genre around that time was crazy, but I still appreciate the figures, and it's a cool pack together. I can't remember. I want to say these two did come together in a two-pack. Next up, we do have the Creep, which was a new addition last year, I do believe, which is kind of a silly figure, you know. He's just chilling around. You know, he looks like he remembers the first time he tried chocolate, and he always hated it. Good-looking robe in here, though. I like how detailed the robe is, even if it doesn't really Velcro and stuff. I still like it. I, I don't know. I think it's cool. You could put that on, like, a different figure or something, but kind of stiff, but okay, yeah, it's got a lot of cool details to it. We have another Toonie Terrors figure. We do have Pennywise right here, the remake, which is a cool one. And you can let me know right now, are you Team Remake or Team OG Pennywise? I'm Team OG Pennywise over Team Remake. You can let me know what you think down below. I just like, I don't know, I like this version of the clown. I just think he's more terrifying, to be honest. And this one was terrifying, don't get me wrong. But this one over here, there's something about it, man. There's something about the yellow and the ominous colors and stuff. And I just think Curry did such a good job that I was this. And they both did fine. They're both, you know, their own legendary performances, I guess. But I was always OG. But I guess it's the one that I grew up watching, so maybe that's the reason why. And I'm just some dumb homer. But we also have Michael Myers here from the original 2018 Hot Halloween. I don't know why they haven't made a full-scale version like this, like an ultimate Michael Myers from the OG Halloween. I don't think they've done that right, so they definitely need to do that. Or have they done that? And I'm just a dumb clown. Have they done that and I'm just stupid? I could have swore, man. But we also have Halloween Kills right here. So we have Halloween Kills, the OG, or not the OG Halloween, but the remake Halloween or the 2018 version. Then you have Halloween Kills, and then we did have the Halloween End. So we have quite a few of these. And actually, now that you mentioned, I have this one here, which is another version of the 2018 remake. And you're probably wondering, why does he have a spear through his chest? And I'm going to use that opportunity to plug this video. It is the Jason Voorhees versus Michael Myers Tournament of the Damn Championship. You got to go watch it. You gotta go watch that video if you guys have never seen that. It is a matchup, a figure matchup between Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees for actually not only the MDT Tournament of the Damn Trophy, but the MDT Horror Championship, which is right here. So we have we have our own Horror Championship right here that was custom made. And then uh, Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers did war over it, and it was a classic. So you never need to go check that out. I honestly just need to re-upload it for the for the feels and for the, you know, just the, the for just the celebration of Halloween. Need to do that. Or just refilm a whole rematch. Keep things moving, man. We have the Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Voorhees. Made this man look derpy as hell, man. Made him look so derpy. I was never a fan of this design. He also has these daggum platform boots on, which it was just to make him taller, but he just looks ridiculous. I just did not like... And I know you can't really see him in the movie or whatever, but to put him on the figure is just hilarious. It really is. I, I really... I, I, I Get it out of my face. We also have the remake Jason again, and this time he's got the mask on with the long hair, which is weird because I feel like I didn't even notice the long hair in the film, but I guess it was there, you know? But... He's got the black jacket on. He wore the same thing forever. You know, it's kind of crap. But I guess he never changes clothes because I guess that's a thing. But pretty cool figure overall. We also have the miner from My Bloody Valentine. I can't remember his name off the top of my dome. But 
it's a pretty cool piece. I think this was a new edition last year. He's missing a hand. It's somewhere located. I, I, I have it, okay? Don't get crazy. But a lot of these guys are just wearing jumpsuits. It's like a different version of Michael Myers, I swear. We also have a few versions of Jason Voorhees here, which is kind of crazy. We have a lot of this figure. We have a ton of this figure in the in the khaki pants. Ones with mask, ones without mask. We have clones at this point. And a lot of these figures, man, look identical. And they're just, you know, from different films or different moments in the film. Or, you know, from three to four or four to five. So, look, like, all these figures are the same. Essentially, they're just kind of repainted or they have a different finish or they have different things going on like that. But then also, whoops, you also have the uh, part three here with the, with the blue jeans or the light jeans on. And again, man, like, look at all these figures. They look, I mean, are these not honestly pretty much the exact same, like the same sculpts and everything. So NECA was de definitely getting their money's worth out of the different sculpting and the different details, but at least they are different in their own ways. And that's the most important thing is if you get the same figures, you can reconfigure them, put a different item on there, put a different mask, use a different head sculpt, use a different accessory and kind of change up your display if you're going to have the same figures over and over again. But I'm always one that collects the same figures over and over, or I collect multiples of the same figures. So there is that. We have another Part 7 right here. Great looking figure again. I love this figure. I don't know what it is, but this was honestly my favorite film of, of the Friday the 13th series, I think, was Part 7. And I know it's ridiculous with the with the telekinesis or the, the powers and everything, but I enjoy the film and I like this design the most of Jason. But we also have a Toonie Terrors Ash from Evil Dead. He's got the chainsaw hand right there, which is pretty cool. I like these cartoon or Toonie Terrors figures. Here's Leatherface. He's kind of a mammoth. Look at this guy. I actually have two of these. So you have the Toonie Terrors Leatherface with the chainsaw and then one without. I really don't know how we ended up with two. I need to repaint or customize one so they're slightly different. Like make one from a different film or maybe make a blood splatter version just to change it up. But... These figures are really cool. They I started collecting them, I think, last year, and they've been kind of a fun insertion into the collection. But we also have our Victor Crowley figure right here, which is such a cool piece, and he's got that saw in his hand, which I always thought was cool, and the overalls are cloth and stuff. I think this is a NECA figure. And I think this guy was also played by Kane Hodder. So you have another Kane Hodder appearance here, but very nasty looking head sculpt. You get in here and look at the head sculpt, man. Look at that right there. I mean, it looks like it's Jason Voorhees' cousin, to be honest. We also have this big thing of weapons. It's just a holder, and it's got all of our different horror weapons in here. And outside of that, I know that some of the figures are holding the weapons and we have different bags full, but this is a full case of weapons. I think this is just a pencil holder or something like that, but we filled up all of our weapons so that we can organize them and keep up with them. You can see all the lights there, but that's how I keep up with my weapons. And then we also have different bags down here full of stuff. So these bags down here are usually included. And I keep them this way because it's the best way to keep up with stuff I've found is the different head sculpts and weapons and different things like that. And I used to make a video where I would go through all of this. If you guys want to see a video where we take you through all the bags of weapons, you can let me know. But we have multiple bags of different head sculpts and pumpkins and accessories and all those different stuff. So I think there's actually three bags. So look at it, like three bags of heads and everything. So when you've been collecting figures for this long, man, you have a YouTube channel dedicated to it, you end up with a lot of stuff. And I do this a lot with all my different action figures, whether it's WWE or NECA Horror or Marvel Legends, whatever, I always keep them in bags so you can keep up with them easily. You can kind of see the bottom of the box coming up here, but we also have Annabelle here who also comes in her case. And this figure's kind of underrated. It poses, around, it poses around really, really nice, but she also comes with her chair and her case, and so you can insert her in there, but I did remove her so that we could take a look at the figure, but I also had a classic in the in the blood bathtub last year. If you guys missed that matchup, you definitely need to go check that out. Annabelle versus Chucky, the blood bath match. That was a fun one. We also have a couple of Freddy Kruegers right here. Actually, three different Freddy Kruegers. We have a Toonie Terrors version. We have this, what, was it Super 7 maybe? I think they made this. I can't remember off the top of the dome. And then we do have our nurse version right here, which is, I don't know, it's not the best. Uh, I don't know. The, these wonky finger, figures, they have like single jointed knees and stuff. They're kind of weird figures. So we have Freddy as a nurse. And then actually we even have a Freddy down here that's missing a hand because I put it on a wrestling figure. So we have quite a few Freddies right here. Kind of different versions and genres and different figure companies making these. Or not necessarily, I want to say NECA makes the Toonie Terror figures too, but it's a different line at least. So there's that. We also have a few more little demon dogs right here. Freddy demon dogs deals or dream dog, whatever you want to say. But God, they look just like their life is agony. Look at that. Every time I see these, I think of that Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode where it's like that King Frog or whatever. It's like every day my life's agony and he's like throwing up all the time. That's what these remind me of. <laughs> Every moment I live is agony. Let's have a look at another Pennywise. We have an OG Pennywise, but he doesn't have the neck collar in there, but he's kind of transforming and yelling. 
And then we also have the Mezco Jason, which again, I am just not a fan of, man. These figures are so small and tiny. They just make me vomit. I don't know. They're good figures. Again, they're not, I don't know. I don't want to say good because I don't like them that much. They're too small and they're too expensive. And they don't pose around the best, but I know people love them. People love them. I'm just not a fan. We also have a tiny ghost face over here. So we have a nice little tiny ghost face right here. Nice posability. Nice posability. Brother, that is a statue. What the hell are you talking about? It's not bad though. It's got the little waistcoat way down here so you can at least articulate his legs. I don't know. It's got so there's there's something about that that's charming. I don't know. But then we also have kind of a Toonie Terrors pinhead, which I want to say we have two of these in the box for whatever reason. I don't even remember buying two, so I don't know where that came from. We have a gigantic Jason head from, I think this is an interchangeable head sculpt that comes on one of the giant figures that we'll get into later on in the video, but we do have this right here. It's kind of bloody. I added some extra blood to it and stuff for horror setups and things like that, but you have the axe cut right there in the face. We also have Alien right here, and I have no idea which Alien this is, but this figure is so cool because, look, it even has the smaller mouth or Alien head that comes out of the face right there. So you have the giant head, and then you have the tiny tongue mouth head that comes out of the mouth, which I think is crazy. But the skeleton and the different things that have going on with this figure is kind of crazy. It's a massive skeleton of an alien figure that is, I don't know, the paint apps on here are really cool. It's just a really cool figure. I don't know. I, I wish I had more of these, and I also wish I had more of the Predator, because we do have a Predator right here, and I have no idea what version of Predator this is. But I've always been a huge fan of the character in terms of design. I just thought his helmet and stuff is so sick, but I would love to have more Predator figures. I just think they're so sick, but we have Alien versus Predator right here in the damn, in the massive box of horror figures, so we can have that play out, but I need more Aliens, and I need more Predators, and honestly, I need more, we need more, we need to spice up the box some more. We have another Jason Voorhees right here with his mask off, looking pretty, uh, damn ugly. We have another Ash from Evil Dead, which is a very underrated figure, I enjoy this figure a lot, good details going on with it, and everything, he comes with a nice rifle, I like it, I like this figure a lot, I like the paint apps and everything, he kind of looks like, I don't know, some classic cartoon character or something. We also have another Part 3 Jason right here. I don't like the mass shape on this figure. I don't know if it's the figure in general or just the mass shape overall, but that's kind of an older figure, I think. And then we do have another Pennywise that's transforming, but he is missing a leg and some arms because of the hell that he went through in the tournament of the damned, I do believe, on the channel with the horror action figure matches. And then we do have a zombified version of Stone Cold Steve Austin, which is very cool. So you do have like the skull hand, and then you got like his guts ripped open right there. And then he's got a smoking skull head. This is a very fun figure from Mattel. So he's got the Stone Cold vest and everything. It's a fun figure. Pretty cool figure, even if the boots are too tall and stuff. The zombie, the zombie line was underrated. Very underrated line of basic WWE action figures. Oh, man. We also have Nosferatu, which when I think of Nosferatu, all I think of is SpongeBob and the hash slinging slasher. That's all I think of. Nosferatu! That's all I think of. When I see this guy, I think of hash slinging slasher all day, and I'm sure there's a generation of kids that probably think the exact same. It's kind of crazy how things work like that, but it's a fun figure. I like the head sculpt and everything, and all I think of is, is him flipping that damn light on and off. We also have another large Jason mask just chilling in the bottom. Found some different stuff laying around right here. We have a Toonie Terror. We have a Toonie Terror's Jason, but I think it's downstairs in my son's playroom, and then we do have a uh, we have a Pennywise balloon right here that comes with a few of the figures. We have a Frankenstein head sculpt, and then we have a Jason mask. So you never know what's laying around. I gotta put these in some bags so we don't lose them. Alrighty, and then we have another couple Toonie Terror figures. We have another pinhead that we took a look at a, a moment ago. And then we do have a Beetlejuice, which is kind of relevant. It's kind of relevant. This is kind of relevant to today. We do have a Beetlejuice, which I like. Always enjoyed that film growing up, so always had to have Beetlejuice. Uh, have I said his name three times now? I'm kind of scared. Alrighty, and then we do have another Halloween 2. My Michael Myers figure with the bleeding eyes. He's not on fire though, so this one's got gunshot holes and you know, he's got some different things going on, but at least he's not on fire, so I guess that's one step in the right direction. And then we do have the Part 7 Jason here. This is kind of a statue, and we do have a couple different versions of this. I think, you know, this is all we had for Part 7 Jason before they made the actual Ultimate figure. And the Ultimate figure blows us out of the water, but it's still a cool presentation of a figure. I've, I think my brother has like seven of these in different scales. And then we have another Freddy vs. Jason Jason with the mask removed. He's looking a bit odd. He's got the Navy shirt on there. Again, didn't really care for this design, but 
we do have a few of this figure. And then we have our gigantic Jason here, and this is a massive piece, man. Massive piece, which is, I mean, just a large-scale version of the original version we've seen so many times before. And it is so damn big, dude. It's, it's ridiculous how tall this thing is. I want to say that it's... Let's compare it to a normal figure. So if we compare it to the uh, kind of the original, like this is the this is like seven eight inches tall. So this one's like I don't know twenty four inches tall. So I mean, dude, it's massive. Maybe thirty two. It's a gigantic figure. I don't even know where the hell he got it, but it's massive. And then we also have another statue here, which is the Freddy versus Jason statue. Look at that face, man. So much detail packed into this thing. Look at this head sculpt, man. Look at that right there. Just disgusting. Get out of my face, man. And then I guess really the last figure we have is this giant Part Seven, which is essentially the Part 7 just in a giant statue. Like, that's me holding his leg. And you can see all of the different details in here. It's such a cool piece, but it's very limited. But it's the same exact one as that smaller version. It's just gigantic. So, again, my brother has so many different versions of this figure. And so, we put all the versions in the box so that we can see all the different ones. And I want to say, we have another one that kind of broke over time. But it was kind of in the middle scale. So, it wasn't this big. But it wasn't as small as, like, 7, 8 inches. It was, like, somewhere in the 12-inch department. But this is a gigantic figure, man. And then at the end, we just have some different weapons straight off the bottom you have like a machete an axe different things going on down there but at the end of the day that is the full massive horror box all unboxed man another year another massive unboxing of the horror action figures you know slowly but surely adding to it you know every year i plan to add to it or at least add to it and kind of make it a yearly tradition here for halloween in october man i hope you guys have a fantastic halloween and everything and if you will i would greatly appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video man leave a like on the video so this video can spread out to as many people as possible comment down below your favorite horror or Halloween tradition or character or whatever you want to do, man. But here's that giant Jason, man. Look at how damn big that thing is, dude. It's crazy how big that one is. But that's going to pretty much wrap up the video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Always appreciate their love and support as well. Appreciate all you guys. So appreciate all you guys so much. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And also, Tomorrow, we will be posting up our first horror action figure setup of the year, so that should be fun. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Have a blessed one. Happy Halloween.